Hello, my name is Miss Devin, and this is an update on part two of the chicken hatching process. So before we jump in with some really interesting and exciting new developments, I want to show you kind of what's happened with our chicks so far from last week and through this week. So here is the inside of the egg from day one to day six. Remember on day one, it started developing tissue. By day two, there was a heart and a heartbeat. By day three, our chick was developing blood vessels. By day four, our chick is developing limbs. It will develop wings, legs, eyes, and a brain. By day five, our chick will develop elbows and knees. And then by day six, our chick will develop digits for its beak. So let's look at what happened through the week for our chicks. So then through this week, our chick developed its beak, the egg tooth, that's the part that helps it break through the shell, and the comb. On day eight, our chick will develop feathers and feather tracts. That's almost like, if you think of it like a hair follicle where your hair grows out from, that is where on the chicken where the feathers grow out from. So the feathers and the feather tracts. On day nine, our chick will begin to open its mouth. On day 10, our chick will develop claws. On day 11, our chick starts to develop what looks like the beginnings of its tail feathers. And on day 12, our chick will develop scales on its feet and legs. This is called the shank and on its feet. And now today, day 13, let's see how our chick is looking. On day 13. Today our chick has developed more tissue. You can also see the difference in the photo where now the chick is starting to have more feathers, starting to look a little bit fluffier inside. So these models are really great for helping us see what's inside and kind of a, a impressionistic way so we can kind of get a sense of what's happening inside the chicken egg. But if I want to know what's happening with my incubator over here in the corner, how my chicks are doing, what those eggs look like inside, we do a process called candling. And for, to, in order to candle, you don't need much. You need a very powerful flashlight, and then you need a dark room. You also wanna be sure your hands are clean so that there's no dirt and oils that might harm the chick egg, and make sure you have a safe way and place to carry them because we really don't want them out of their incubator for long. So this process we did was quite efficient. We didn't wanna be quick because we wanna be careful, but we were efficient. So what we did is we set up a little chick candling opportunity. So here we have the candling preparations. You can see the bright light. We put a little bit of putty around the edge of the flashlight so that when we set the egg on there, it was secure. And then I always made sure that my hands were well balanced. In this scene, the bathroom lights are on. And in the next, let's see inside the egg when the wet lights went out. So here the lights are out and you can see that little phantom shape, this little black speck, that is the eye of our baby chick. So there is a viable chick in this egg. There is a living, growing chick. And in this picture, you can see a little bit of the, the veins and the blood vessels that are helping support the chick in there as well. Here's another picture. This one's a little bit stronger. You can see the veins better. You can see the shape of the chicken. So you can see the little chick's body stretching around. Maybe it's tail feathers emerging here. And the, again, the blood vessels supporting and keeping that life. And this is the eye. Here we have a picture of an unfertilized egg. So a grocery store egg, one that was never, that a, ch a rooster and a hen never encountered. This is just an egg produced by a hen. And it's the kind we'd buy at the grocery store. You can see it glows and it's speckly, but it doesn't have the life like the fertilized egg. The fertilized egg, again, you can see this shape of a developing chicken inside. Now here we have a non-viable egg. Something had happened to this egg. When we retrieved the incubator, there was a little crack on the egg and that happens. That's part of this process. And you can see that while there is the, the yolk sac inside, there's this outline there is not a glow or a moving um, life inside. 
So in each of these photos, they are stills, but we also were able to take videos of the chicks inside when we were candling to see their movement and their interactions. Watch this video and see if you can locate the blood vessels that are supporting the life, the eye, that kind of black center, and then it's moving body as it moves around and experiences its, um, its safe cocoon inside that egg. Pretty cool. I think it's really amazing to be able to see inside the egg, all that movement. We will candle them again in a few days. That process was done on day nine. And then our chicks, because it's day 13, they will be here in nine days. So their birthday will be Saturday, April 18th. And again, we'll be ready for them to, maybe some will hatch a day early, some might have a, hatch a few days later, but there'll be another, another video coming as, um, as more evolves. So thanks for tuning in, really appreciate it. And more to come. Can't wait to introduce you to the chicks. Bye.